Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some Arrowverse, some DC Comics news. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I am pre-recording this video because I'm going to be away. However, videos will continue to be released whilst I'm on holiday as I'm bringing my whole setup with me as I go abroad. Nevertheless, this video is up to date because I don't believe the Stargirl trailer would have been released by the point of this video, which is a topic that we're going to be mentioning at the start of the video. And then we have some news in regards to San Diego Comic Con, which is coming up next month. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about, as I just mentioned, is Stargirl. So, there was an announcement just earlier today by CW18 Milwaukee, and this is just a network on the CW, and they're pretty active on Twitter, and it's a legit CW account, and they said, Missing Courtney and the JSA? Question mark. Keep an eye out for a first look tease for DC's Stargirl Season 3 this week. So, that is officially coming. I'm recording this video on the 28th of June, so it is coming this week, and currently it's Tuesday, so between Tuesday and Sunday we're going to be getting it and that's when this video will be released. So hopefully it hasn't released by this point. But this is big news, Stargirl Season 3 is going to be getting a teaser. It is coming out relatively soon, that is obviously exciting for Stargirl fans. It's been a while since Stargirl was on and normally Stargirl is actually a summer show for the CW. But it was announced that it's not actually going to be coming out in the summer but it's going to be coming out in the fall. And it's going to be replacing The Flash and Superman Lois because they are both having their premiere for their new seasons in the mid-season. So that means a January release for Superman Lois Season 3 and The Flash Season 9. But Stargirl Season 3 is in fact going to be coming out in the fall. That's as far as I know. Plans could obviously change. But that's the information I have as of right now. So yeah, this is big news. Stargirl Season 3, there's going to be a trailer or at least a little teaser coming out very soon in regards to the new season. But let's move on to the main topic of today's video, and that is San Diego Comic Con. So it's been a while since San Diego Comic Con was a thing. The last time San Diego Comic Con was on was in 2019 in July. And fun fact, in fact, I was actually at that last Comic Con in 2019 in San Diego. It was a great event and I'm very pleased that I was able to go right before the pandemic hit. Obviously that was 2019 summer and the pandemic kind of shut everything down by the time of like March next year, so 2020. And so yeah, it's finally back. I'm very shocked that San Diego Comic Con is back on because it's just been such a long time. I just really didn't think about it to be honest. And so all of the companies that normally release stuff and have panels at Comic Con haven't actually announced anything as of recent until now. And Comic Con is actually fast approaching, it hasn't been widely advertised but it is on this year and it's back in San Diego at the convention center and it's going to be in July as usual. But the big news that we're going to be talking about is this, and I'm reading off of a Screen Rant article, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below, and so this is how it goes. However, another superhero behemoth is also heading to San Diego Comic Con 2022 as well, as Warner Brothers and DC have rolled out their plans. Warner Bros will have DC present at San Diego Comic Con, but with a catch for the first time in history, Warner Bros and DC will not have their regular booths in the exhibit halls. So that is actually a big deal for Comic Con and Warner Bros and DC in general. But Warner Bros TV will bring two DC shows to the convention rather than normally they bring all of their shows. So one of those shows being the highly anticipated Netflix series, The Sandman, now set to have a massive Hall H panel at the event. And HBO Max will also be screening the first two episodes of Harley Quinn Season 3 and there will be some other premieres for DC's animated films. But in regards to DC TV, they say despite some DC TV presence, Warner Bros TV will not have The Flash and Superman Lois and Stargirl attend San Diego Comic Con in 2022. Even though it has finished filming and will premiere in the fall, Stargirl Season 3 will also not be a part of the event. Per The Hollywood Reporter, it has yet to be decided if DC Films will be coming to San Diego Comic Con at all, 
with films like Black Adam and Shazam releasing later this year who could be potential candidates for Hall H if Warner Bros are to bring any DC movies to the event. For the time being it seems Aquaman and Lost Kingdom and The Flash and Blue Beetle aren't on the table for this year's San Diego Comic Con due to their 2023 release dates. So let's talk about this, mainly in regards to DC TV, but obviously it's a big deal that nothing has been announced in terms of like Black Adam or Shazam, but DC TV wise, it's confirmed The Flash, Superman, Lois and Stargirl will not be at Comic Con this year, and honestly, I'm not that shocked. And the reason I'm not that shocked is they haven't prepared for this. Normally, if the shows are going to Comic Con, they always come with footage, they always come with trailers. However, The Flash and Superman and Lois haven't shot anything for their new seasons yet, and that is largely because their release dates are going to be in the mid season. And usually, when they used to come to Comic Con, all the shows on the CW that were in the Arrowverse would film for a couple weeks before Comic Con for their new seasons. They would bring a mini trailer that would tease the season to come and then they would release those shows in October in the fall, similar to where Stargirl was coming. However, it's interesting with Stargirl that they're releasing their first teaser before Comic Con, probably to save money, if, if I'm being completely honest. I think it's probably not worth it for them to put all of their chips into Comic Con since it's such a last minute event and the fact that not everyone is going to be coming. However, there is big studios that are actually returning to Comic Con for the first time and that being, of course, Marvel. So apparently Marvel are going to be returning for the first time since 2019 and with that in mind, I think DC could potentially bring their films there but it's not much benefit to them if they bring The Flash and Superman, Lois and Stargirl because they have to bring the whole cast and crew, it's a lot of money and this is just not something that they've done for the last couple of years and I think they are kind of comfortable in the way that things have changed and I've got a feeling DC fandom is probably going to happen again this year, especially with The Flash and Superman and Lois coming out in the mid-season. They are going to want some point in the year to promote the new seasons and DC fandom last year being in the fall was definitely a good spot for them considering that they released the new season of The Flash and Superman Lois this year in the mid-season as well. So I feel like they are going to stick with that similar sort of scheme and that is probably why they are skipping Comic Con. So I would say most likely DC fandom is going to be happening despite Warner Brothers having a presence at Comic Con. However, it will be definitely a minimized presence especially given that they are reluctant to announce anything, especially in regards to their films, because that is a huge deal. But with regards to The Flash, I think they're going to wait until they have trailers, and then when they have the trailers, they're going to be showing them at DC Fandom online for everyone. It would be huge if they actually turned DC Fandom into a real-life event. I think that would be a great step for them. I really don't know if next year they're going to go back to the Comic Con formula because everything has changed for the Arrowverse shows and the way that they're shot. Like I said, they are going for mid-season premieres instead of full premieres and that just doesn't line up with Comic Con. So I think making DC Fandom an actual real life event like Star Wars Celebration or like Comic Con could actually be the next best thing for DC. Now, would you guys like that? Would you like DC Fandom to be an actual Comic Con event to happen in real life rather than just online? I would like that and I would totally go to it wherever it is. But for now, I'm not going to Comic Con this year and I believe most people aren't going to go unless you live in America or you're really desperate to go and you've never been to Comic Con before. I feel like it's best to wait until everything is back and I again don't know if everything is going to come back next year but I have a strong feeling that Warner Brothers may bring some of their TV shows back there including the Arrowverse but it's pretty cool that they're showing the Sandman there the new show on Netflix and they're gonna have a big panel so that's exciting for everyone that's going but I'll be sure to go to Comic Con next year and if you guys are going to be planning to come please be sure to say hi to me if I do turn up and I will let you know in advance it was awesome in 2019 and I really hope to come back once again because I haven't been to a Comic Con event 
in quite a while and I always love meeting up with you guys and that's literally the only time I've met up with you guys is at these Comic Con events in England or in America. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, sorry for rambling a little bit, I'm just trying to get across my thoughts as to what exactly is going on at Comic Con and the fact that our shows aren't there but the films could potentially be there and the fact that I think DC Fandom will go on this year. But in regards to Stargirl, very exciting that we're going to be getting some new promotional material for Season 3 very, very soon. Be sure to stay active and stay tuned for that. And for now, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel if you do that. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos so you stay notified. Also, remember The Flash and Superman and Lois are having their finales this week. Please be sure to check out those videos if they are up on the channel as of right now. Obviously, just go check on the channel. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.